Welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of the 1988 historical action western, Young Guns. We'll revisit the stars of the film and update them as of 2022. Enjoy the video. Kiefer Sutherland played Josiah Gordon Dox Gerlach. In 1988, Sutherland was 21 years old. He was born on December 21, 1966, and is now 55 years of age. Sutherland's most recent roles were in the 2022 TV series, The First Lady, where he plays Franklin D. Roosevelt, and Rabbit Hole, where he played James Weir. He has also just finished filming in the upcoming Netflix comedy sci-fi, They Clone Tyrone. Charlie Sheen played Richard Dick Brewer. In 1988, Sheen was 22 years old. He was born on September 3, 1965, and is now 57 years of age. Sheen's most recent TV role was in the 2017 comedy series, Typical Rick, where he played a motel clerk and a broken family producer. Since then, Sheen has appeared in a couple of music videos and is soon to star in Ramble On, which follows established stars looking to reinvent their careers. Dermot Mulroney played Dirty Steve Stevens. In 1988, Mulroney was 24 years old. He was born on October 31, 1963, and is now 58 years of age. So far this year, Mulroney has starred in several films, including Gone in the Night, Agent Game, and Section 8. He has numerous new projects on the horizon, including the horror thriller The Inhabitant, where he plays Ben. Casey Shimasco played Charlie Boundary. In 1988, Shimasco was 26 years old. He was born on March 17, 1961, and is now 61 years of age. Shimasco's most recent TV role was in a 2016 episode of the drama series, Billions, titled Short Squeeze, where he played Sades. He also voiced the character Warble in the 2018 action western video game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Terrence Stamp played John Tunstall. In 1988, Stamp was 49 years old. He was born July 22, 1938, and is now 84 years of age. Stamp's most recent role was in the 2021 drama mystery film Last Night in Soho, where he played a silver-haired gentleman. In addition to his award-winning acting career, Stamp is an accomplished writer and author, having published three volumes of his memoirs and several cookbooks. Jack Paul Lance played Lawrence Murphy. In 1988, Paul Lance was 69 years old. He was born on February 18, 1919. He died of natural causes. On November 10, 2006, he was 87 years of age. Four decades after his film debut, Paul Lance won an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, an Emmy, and an American Comedy Award for his 1991 role as Curly Washburn in the comedy City Slickers. His last acting role was in the 2004 TV drama movie Back When We Were Grown Ups, where he played Paul Poppy Davich. Terry O'Quinn played Alexander McSween. In 1988, O'Quinn was 35 years old. He was born on July 15, 1952, and is now 70 years of age. Since 1980, O'Quinn has appeared in many feature films and recurring TV roles, including the role of John Locke in the science fiction TV drama Lost, a role he played for 118 episodes. His most recent role was in the 2022 comedy drama TV series Resident Alien, where he plays Peter Bach. Sharon Thomas played Susan McSween. In 1988, Thomas was 41 years old. She was born on June 3, 1946, and is now 76 years of age. Thomas had numerous film roles throughout her five decades on screen, including Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, The Stone Boy, and Pure Country. Her last acting role was in the 2014 family comedy drama Mary Xmas, where she played Claude L. She is married to film director Christopher Kane. Alice Carter played Yin Sun. Her age, at the time of filming, is unknown. Carter's last acting role was in a 1999 episode of the TV series, Part of Five, titled Ties That Bind, where she played Dr. Young. She is now a teacher, private coach, director, and script advisor, helping actors find their way in the business. Jeffrey Blake played Jay McCloskey. In 1988, Blake was 25 years old. He was born on August 20, 1962, and is now 60 years of age. Blake's most recent roles were in the 2022 TV series, Bridge and Tunnel, where he played a designer, and the action thriller, Section 8, where he played Senator Jim Graham. 
His latest project, which at this moment is in pre-production, is the film drama Generation Angst, where he will play Dr. Jeffries. Ryan Keith played Buckshot Roberts. In 1988, Keith was 66 years old. He was born on November 14, 1921. He died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. On June 24, 1997, he was 75 years of age. Keith's last acting role was in the 1997 TV miniseries, Rough Riders, where he played President William McKinley. He also played the role of Roddy Thompson in the comedy romance, Follow Your Heart, which was posthumously released after his death. Patrick Wayne played Pat Garrett. In 1988, Wayne was 48 years old. He was born on July 15, 1939, and is now 83 years of age. It might have been an uncredited role as a boy, but young Wayne's first role was alongside his father John in the 1950 western romance Rio Grande. After making over 40 films in his career, 11 of them with his father, Wayne retired from acting in 1997, his last role being the action-adventure Deep Cover where he played Ray. Lisa Baines played Mallory. In 1988, Baines was 32 years old. She was born on July 9, 1955. She died after being fatally struck with an electric scooter in a hit-and-run collision. On June 14, 2021, she was 65 years of age. Bain had an illustrious career, starring in over 80 film and television roles, as well as several stage appearances on Broadway. Her last acting role was the 2022 sci-fi TV series, The Orville, where she played Spiria Ballast. Four episodes were posthumously released after her death. Thomas Calloway played Texas Joe Grant. Calloway's age at the time of filming is unknown. After almost 50 film and television roles, including parts in MASH, Falcon Crest, and V, Calloway retired from acting in 1995. His last acting role was in a 1995 episode of the crime drama TV series, The Marshal, titled These Foolish Things, where he played Woody Love. He is now a highly successful interior and residential designer. Daniel Kareem played Sheriff Brady. In 1988, Kareem was 40 years old. He was born on September 8, 1947, and is now 75 years of age. Kareem is best known as a character actor in film, television, and stage. He is also an award-winning and published stills photographer. His last film role was in the 2014 sci-fi thriller Quantum Leap, also known as Flashes, where he played a judge. Blue Diamond Phillips played Jose Chavez y Chavez. In 1988, Phillips was 26 years old. He was born on February 17, 1962, and is now 60 years of age. Phillips' most recent role was a voice part in the 2022 animated TV series, Fire Buds, where he voiced Chief Bill Bayani. He has several upcoming projects in the burner, including Year 2, Aztec Warrior God, Emergence, and Young Guns 3, alias Billy the Kid, where he will reprise his role as Chavez. Emilio Estevez played William H. Billy the Kid Bonnie. In 1988, Estevez was 25 years old. He was born on May 12, 1962, and is now 60 years of age. Estevez's most recent role was in the 2021 TV series, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, where he played Gordon Bombay. He will also reprise his role as William H. Bonnie in Young Guns 3, alias Billy the Kid, which at this moment is in post-production. Young Guns was a box office hit, Billy the Kid and his gang, grossing over $56 million worldwide. What was your favorite Western film? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.